Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the Commercial UAV Expo 2019 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm talking to Tim Matthews over at the Alta booth. How are you doing, Tim? I'm very good. How are you doing? Good to see you again. I'm doing well, thanks. Now, right behind us, we have your Dragonfish aircraft, and it had a very special day yesterday. What happened? That is correct. So we've been showing the Dragonfish off for a couple years, but really just in concept form and trying to get a lot of feedback on it, a lot of testing. And this weekend was actually the first time it's ever flown in the States. But not just flown, it also did everything autonomously. So nobody was on the controls, did the full mission, everything worked 100%. It was awesome. Now I notice it's got four propellers, but it's also got wings. What's going on there? Yeah, so it's a little bit different. It's a VTOL. Uh, so we've actually got two vertical motors on top of the fuselage, and then we have two more sets of motors on the winglets that actually rotate depending on what mode you're in. So the vertical part of it obviously allows you to take off in a confined space, so maybe on like in the forest, you know, for forestry service or rough terrain. Uh, inside of an uh, urban environment, but then it still has the efficiency of a fixed wing, which is how we're getting over 100 minutes of flight time, because once you get up into the air, those winglets rotate back down, the top motor shut off, and it's just coasting and gliding. Very cool. It's a, yeah, VTOL is a very slick technology. Now, uh, what are the anticipated use cases for this aircraft? Quite a few, really. So any kind of uh, commercial or industrial uses where you would need to be in the air trying to get a different perspective or map something for a long period of time. Uh, your short, real short missions um, and low to the ground might not make sense for, but pipeline inspections, large mapping, um, surveillance, anything like that, uh, it totally makes sense to use this. And then I noticed we've got this little sensor ball right here behind us. What sort of sensors does this aircraft carry? Yeah, so that one right there is a 4K camera uh, with a 10 times zoom on it. But we're actually taking feedback from everybody here at the show to figure out what payloads they'd like to see on it. The plans are to do, you know, like dual sensor or just a thermal, larger zooms, uh, possibly a LiDAR if, it, if it, we can get that to work on here. But if there's any sort of feedback or suggestions or if a customer is looking for a very specific package, we have that option too. All right, excellent. So the question everybody always wants to know when a cool new piece of hardware comes out, especially when they see it fly, yep is when's it going to be available and what's it going to cost? Of course. So uh, the cost is going to vary quite a bit depending on what the, the payload is going to be. Uh, you're going to start in the teens for the aircraft itself in the final form. There's still some changes going on. Uh, and then it's going to scale up from there depending on how many payloads you want because they're swappable um, and then what type. So obviously LiDAR is going to cost a little bit more than a, than a basic 4K camera, right? Uh, and availability. So we would actually like to start taking orders very soon on this. Uh, once we're done with the changes on there, I don't have a set date yet, so I know that's always difficult, but hopefully we can get this thing out the door and start shipping to customers maybe 60 to 90 days. All right, so keep your eyes open for this one, guys. Okay, well, Tim, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Of course. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All righty. And from the Commercial UAV Expo in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again, Tim. Yep, of course. Thank you.